Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Sag. We're going to take a look at what is being illuminated on your path, partially due to the upcoming eclipse energy that we have in September and October. But eclipse energy can bring massive change, transformation, and metamorphosis. It can bring hidden feelings up to the surface. It can be truths coming out. It may even be enlightenment where you have a deeper sense of awareness and understanding of why situations have happened and how to move on from them. Now, I am going to look at how this illumination is beneficial when it comes to new opportunities or the next chapter of your journey. We'll look at initiative, the best possible action you can take moving forward, as well as your values, blockages, and the outcome. So bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands showing up here. Six of Wands is showing up in reverse. So for some of you, you felt like you failed. You may have felt overlooked or alienated or even unrecognized in, you know, in a partnership, in your career, in your family. I just feel like you didn't get the recognition that you had hoped you would get from a situation and that may have caused some conflict. Okay, right behind it, we have the moon and justice. Okay, this is big energy here. So when the moon shows up, this is illusions and things coming to the surface. It's clarity, right? It is what is being illuminated. And what's being illuminated here is the five of swords, some sort of conflict, difficulty, betrayal. Okay, so... Justice is being served here or karma. There's something about bringing balance into the union. This is showing up underneath the deck. So you may not see this yet, but I feel like that's where this new path is headed. And there's new commitments. Wherever your commitments lie that are feeling imbalanced, that's all about to change here. Wherever you don't feel recognized, you're going to go where you are recognized. So again, there's something that feels a little bit off kilter, and this is the time where it's balanced out. Now, justice is Libran energy, and Libran season is towards the end of September, the 23rd, I believe, is when the sun enters Libra, and I feel like there's going to be retribution retribution is the word i'm getting that's interesting so for some of you perhaps this has to do with a legal situation legal documentation it could be a court case or a legality of some sort i am getting a documentation let me just see what else is out here okay uh, yeah, we have the chariot. Maybe there was a situation back in cancer season. So back in June or July that may be reaching a peak. Okay, I'm just bringing that up here because we do see the cancer energy. And whatever was unfair or caused a little bit of, of turmoil in your life, not just a little bit, I feel like this could be a lot. You have a lot of major arcanas here. You have the Hierophant, you have the Chariot, you actually have the Tower, Justice, and the Moon. So this is a big, big time for you, Sag. And I see, again, Justice, Retribution here. So something that was done out of wrongdoing or malice is being held accountable. Now, starting off here, what is being illuminated is someone's misgivings or someone who may have been taking advantage of your kindness. This can also be selfishness. And I feel like this does have to do with someone else as we have the lion and the unicorn. Now the unicorn looks feisty. The unicorn looks quite fierce. And I actually get the energy of the unicorn here wearing a mask. 
you've probably heard the saying of, you know, the unicorn. It's, it's something that is very rare. You know, when you find a unicorn, they say she's a unicorn. It's a very rare finding. But I actually feel like someone was perhaps wearing a false mask and you may have thought they were better than they were or they may have showed up in a stronger light than they actually were. And the five of swords here is taking advantage. It can be manipulation, deceit, rage, poor sportsmanship. It is a battle of the egos. It can even be victory through dominance or control, but it comes at a cost. And I feel like you may have been fighting, you know, tooth and nail with this energy, whatever this is here, whether it is in a legal situation with a justice here, whether this is a family dynamic or just, you know, a battle of the egos when it comes to partnership or a family dynamic. It's like someone was very ruthless. They may not have thought of the consequences or how another person felt. It is a very selfish energy. So whatever this is that you may have known about, but perhaps it was on the lowdown and other people thought that this energy, <clears throat> excuse me, was a unicorn. You're saying, wait a minute, I know, I know the truth. And I feel like it's all coming out. I kind of get the message of, you know, the cat is out of the bag and there is retribution or some sort of some sort of settlement even, a settlement. And it could be that you finally walk away from this because you realize that you've been taken advantage of or you realize someone is very selfish with their energy, but perhaps the underlying energy was you may have been enabling or allowing them to take advantage in some way, shape or form. Again, not, it's not about pointing fingers. It's not about, you know, a blame game, but it is about, you know, doing the right thing and standing in one's truth or one's integrity. And I just feel like there was an opposing force here that may have struggled to do so, to do that. And that's what's coming up here. And you may be choosing to finally be able to walk away from this because there's a deeper understanding or there could be a finally justice coming into the situation. Yeah, I feel for a lot of you, this does have to do with some sort of contract, whether it is a legal contract or a soul contract. Could be a divorce with the Hierophant and the justice. Now, heading into a new chapter of your life is represented here by the blue caterpillar. <clears throat> This is all about your higher power. This is about commitments, traditions. It is about gaining wisdom and you have gained wisdom. And I feel like you've turned to your higher power or your belief system, right? You've turned to that energy to help you move forward. And I feel like you are committing to things that feel more balanced, that feel more stable. Sagittarius. So I want you to take deep inventory. A lot of you already have, right? Where this is happening in your life. Some of you have been butting heads with your partner, with a child, a parent, a boss, a coworker, a friend, whomever this is. It could be someone that you don't even know and they are, you know, bashing you on the internet or, you know, someone that just doesn't know a thing really about you or they think that they know more than they do. And I, I'm getting that you're not putting your time and your attention to this energy any longer, okay? You're stepping out of this. There's, again, I keep hearing, and I know I've said it five different times, but it really is dominating almost retribution, retribution. I keep hearing it over and over. So some sort of wrongdoing here is being balanced out. There could be karmic justice showing up here in this situation. And this new chapter that you are embarking upon, it feels like it's more in alignment with your truth and with what you stand for. This has to do with your beliefs and your morals. And I have a feeling here that whomever this opposing energy is and the five of swords, they push through some sort of boundary that you had 
that jeopardized your morals or it made you question your morals, okay? Maybe it was, you know, maybe it was cheating. Maybe it was, you know, manipulation or you did not agree. There, It's almost as if there was so much adversity that someone thought that no matter what, their way was the best way, you know, maybe the way that they parented or the way that they did business, you know, whatever it is, the foods that they ate, it's almost as if this person couldn't see beyond their own suction cup that was, you know, cups, cup to their face. And I feel like, you know, my way or the highway is a, a no go. It's a lose lose. And I feel like you're saying never again, will I lose myself or my integrity or lower my standards even. Some of you may have even lowered your, your standards to try to make up in some way, make up for someone else's wrongdoing, Sag. And I feel like you've learned so very much from that experience. And the initiative that I see you taking moving forward is getting back on track in your material financial world. The Queen of Pentacles is represented by the Duchess. Now, yes, it is showing up in reverse, which can be, you know, getting back on track with your material wealth, material status. Some of you may have lost money here in, you know, maybe a court case or some sort of struggle. Someone could have gone through theft of some sort, like stolen, maybe stolen identity, or someone may have you know, taken advantage of you or not paid for the rent that they owed you. I just feel like there was money lost, but the good news is this chapter that you are embarking upon, you've learned financial boundaries and there is something here about, you know, mutual exchange. You're not going to settle for less than you deserve, Sag. And the Queen of Pentacles is about you working hard for your mater material wealth, you being very resourceful. You could be someone who is, you know, a business savvy, uh, very perhaps um, traditional, or you, you work for your money and you may be investing in like stocks or your retirement, you may be in real estate or you're looking at, you know, long-term future goals and you may be moving your money around in some way or going to a new place where your, your time, your commitments will be rewarded or recompensed, okay? And I just see here with the Queen of Pentacles, you're getting a better handle perhaps on your finances. You may be taking a look at where you spend your money. You may be looking at the resources that you have available. I also see here when it comes to unnecessary things such as perhaps subscriptions or things that you don't use. Maybe it's that, you know, $5 Starbucks coffee that you drink every day, whatever it is. I mean, it could be anything. I feel like you're being more mindful of, you know, where your finances are going because it almost feels like you had to come back from a situation or something had drained your resources. And I just feel like this new path, you're definitely building your way back to feeling stable and secure with who you are. And this is so much more than just material wealth, right? Even though this is the material card, pentacles is in the material realm. I feel like this has to do with your, your spiritual side, emotional fulfillment as well with that Hierophant. It has to be in alignment with your, your beliefs, your morals, your integrity, what it is that you, you love, being of service or helping others in some way, shape, or form. That truly is the richness that's showing up with the Queen of Pentacles. So trust in your path here, trust in your journey, and I feel like you are the comeback. And as I always say, Sagittarius, the comeback is stronger than the setback. So whatever has felt like it was a delayed gratification, this new beginning is saying, stay committed to your, your path here and trust in your true north. And I feel like you're going to be on top of your game. Now, what are your values or what part of your values may be reconstructed? I would say 
all of them in a way. I mean, yes, we hold true to our, you know, our true core morals and values, but they change, you know, and that's something that we don't talk about a lot. We think that, you know, morals, they come from, from, you know, the very beginning, but morals and beliefs and, you know, those things are incorporated over time where we don't come out of the womb and we're a little, you know, five month old baby. And we're like, yeah, we have morals. We have beliefs. Those are things that are taught, right? And we tend to sometimes veer against the the challenge or the negative or the toxic that we see. And we tell ourselves, I'm never going to be like that, right? Or I'm never going to do that. And that's a strong moral of mine. That's a strong standard. You know, you may have grown up in a an alcoholic family and you may say, my standards is I'm never going to be like my mom or like my dad or my grandpa or uncle. I'm never going to, you know, attract that type of uh, abuse or whatever it may be. You may try to steer clear, but sometimes you know that it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes, you know, we do attract the things that feel so-called familiar, right? Even if they're unhealthy. And I feel the tower showing up here for you, Sagittarius, is taking a look at your values and destroying the old structure because what may have worked for you in the past or what may have been even manipulated and twisted in some way, shape or form, you may have thought, you know, based on how you seen mom and dad treat each other, which Maybe it wasn't healthy, but deeply ingrained in you subconsciously, one of your beliefs, right? One of your beliefs was this is how relationships are. You know, dad works all the time. Mom does the the cleaning and taking care of everyone. And there's not a lot of touch or there's not a lot of words. They don't communicate. They put everything under the rug. There's not, you know, a lot of I love yous, whatever it may have been for you. I feel like that laid the groundwork. And for some of you, maybe it was growing up. For others of you, it could have been societal standards. It could have been, you know, something that played out in your life. But I feel like the belief that was attached to it was completely misaligned with maybe a spiritual alignment of yours. So it feels like there's a disconnect, right? There's some sort of disconnect here. And the values is showing up because this is you representing the tower. The tower is destroying the old structure in order to embark upon a new beginning. It is a major sudden change or awakening. And I feel like this is you going through this awakening. Some of you may have had, you know, a brush with I'm getting like a brush with the devil. So the devil can be fears. It can be, you know, it can be addictions. Perhaps it's a near death experience or something that was very much toxic. Codependency, materialism. I mean, the devil can be bondage and you may have brushed up against it, but I feel like it didn't grip you, or if it did, you're not in the grips of it anymore, which is great, right? We don't want to be in the grips of anything. That uh, is very stifling. So the, the values here are being torn apart in some way in order for you to unlearn perhaps negative or limitations, limiting beliefs, or you know negative things that have delayed the gratification or delayed some sort of love or financial blocks, whatever it may be for you. Now let's look at the block. Let's look at maybe what that devil is. We see the chariot. Now this is very interesting that this chariot is showing up because in the movie, The Wizard of Oz, the flying monkeys, right? They listen to the wicked witch, right? They listen to her demands. They are under her control. And I feel like they are being fed by fear. They're being fed by fear. But what happens at the very end, right? I mean, I haven't seen it in a while. I love the movie, but I feel like the monkeys uh, listen to Dorothy, don't they? They listen to Dorothy who is, you know, um, embarking upon the journey of love. So the chariot is going to go in the direction that we command it to. 
And it's almost like the saying, which wolf do we feed? Uh, you know, there's a wolf, a, a, a evil or a, a light or a dark, whatever polarity you want to use. I feel like it's important to understand, you know, which energy you're feeding into your progression. And that is the really the structure here that is being lifted or being looked at in such a profound way that it's going to change your life here, Sagittarius. So when the chariot shows up, Typically that empress and that emperor, they're the, the in the hot seat, right? They're the ones. But we we must be aware of, you know, the direction that we're going. And I feel like the chariot in reverse can be impulsivity. It can be selfishness. It can be lack of direction. And it can even be motivation that is based on a desire of selfishness you know it's it's an out to get what we can get only and that's why the flying monkeys are the witch's minions right uh, they're gonna go capture dorothy they're gonna do what they're told and i feel like that's that's your belief system your belief system is gonna do what it's told so if you don't like the direction that you're going then we need to get into the hot seat of that control center, the belief center, right? And we need to tell it a new direction, you know, re-navigate on that GPS center in your car, right? You know, when you're, uh, when it tells you there is a better route, you know, you could take off five minutes. Okay, it doesn't sound like that, but I'm sure all of you, you know, you've come across your GPS where it says two minutes shorter or detour ahead or, you know, accident ahead it's almost like there's cautionary signs here and i feel like that's what you are taking a look at is what are those cautionary signs where is this detour ahead so you don't have to to recklessly move forward with imbalance when the signs are here for you so what's the outcome what's the outcome we have the two of pentacles the two of pentacles is balance the two of pentacles is leadership. Okay, no, it's not, but leadership is what just came out of my mouth. So there's something here about leadership, taking the lead. Okay, I mean, two of pentacles is multitasking. It is maybe juggling, juggling energies, weighing out pros and cons. It can be finding balance, but I said leadership. So I'm going to take a look because it may be it may be your call. That's what it is here. It's your choice. You are the one that is in charge of making some sort of decision or some sort of hot seat or being put on this new direction or this new path. I feel like that's part of it. We're going to clarify these energies because this is some big stuff here for you. If it's resonating with you so far, Sag, please hit that thumbs up button. So let's before we lose sight of the two of pentacles, I want to see why leadership just came out. Spirit, tell me about leadership, please. Three of wands. Okay, so the three of wands is the manifester here. The three of wands is manifesting uh, a plan and there's anticipation, but it's about having courage and exploring here because success is only but a move away and in order to make that move you have to step into you know that leader position because it's like you're up right if you're playing a game of chess or a game of checkers or any game for that matter and it's your turn you don't want to be skipped over do you Unless you're in Monopoly and you're at the last boardwalk and you don't want to hit that. But, you know, everybody has to play. It's like everybody's turn in the game. But I feel for some of you, there may have been some hesitation. And perhaps that's why that leadership is coming in. Because I feel like it's one step away. You're one step away. And you may be saying, well, Mel, what am I one step away from? Justice. The justice is represented by the king of hearts. You've had to slay some dragons in your time, Sag. And I feel like the moon represented by this, the, the cat here is all about things that are hidden from view. It can be the subconscious, right? Is being exposed. Some sort of fears, false evidence appearing real, illusions are being exposed. Someone or something is being exposed for you. And... I feel like it's it's your move. 
It's almost as though it depends on you. Maybe someone's going to HR. Someone could be filing for divorce. Someone could be making the first step when it comes to filing some sort of report. There could be a contract that you need to sign. It's like something has been handed to you here. But let's clarify the Five of Swords. I mean, I don't love the Five of Swords. I don't know who does. It's a very vindictive, very selfish, very stubborn energy and you just don't get anywhere when you're dealing with the five of swords energy it's it's not a win-win situation it's basically a you know hitting your head against a brick wall situation and you want to run away from it as fast as you can but sometimes you don't always have that option or sometimes you're meant to fight for justice and i kind of see that's what's happening here someone's fighting for justice knight of cups maybe this is because it's emotionally meaningful to you this is something that maybe at one point this children could be involved this could be your home it could be your belongings it could be you know your your projects maybe someone stole your identity i feel like whatever you're fighting for the reason why you're fight, fighting is because it means something to you spirit why else do we have the knight of cups here someone may have oh someone got hurt so that's why what's hiding that hurt is rage. Oof. Yeah, there's something about being disappointed. You may have rejected someone or there may have been, you know, a refusal to acknowledge a rejection. Knight of Cups. Why do we have the Knight of Cups? King of Cups. Because someone wasn't emotionally intelligent enough to deal with the situation. And that's why the Battle of the Egos came in. Wow, this is big. King of Cups in reverse. He's not fun. King of Cups in reverse is someone who is dr dramatic, right? Untrustworthy, cold. They can even become overly indulgent in, you know, in substances, in women, in men, in whatever it may be to satiate their needs, their thirst, their appetite for you know, for life, but sometimes it comes at an unhealthy cost, okay? Let's look at the Hierophant. Let's look at your new chapter because we see what's being illuminated. It may even be things that you are unaware of, but now you know the why. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like you are, you know, you're choosing here. Is this worth fighting for? Do I walk away from this? But at least everything is laid out on the table. Again, the cat's out of the bag. And let's take a look at this commitment or belief system that we have here, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sag? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is someone who creates a life that they love. I personally very much enjoy the Nine of Pentacles. Sometimes she can be very um, uh, luxurious, very abundant. Typically, you'll see her eating the, the grapes off of her, off the vine. I've even joked about that personally and I've ate the grapes right off the vine because it almost feels like there is a, a necessary indulgence. It's basically stopping and smelling the roses here and there's a lot of abundance around her. And the nine of pentacles is about individual achievement, material wealth, self-sufficiency. It's about your hard work paying off and feeling confident and proud of yourself. And that's where I feel like you're going, even if this is a path that you have to walk on your own for a bit, because this can be a singled energy. But if you are partnered up, I feel like you may be the one that initiates change. You may, be, someone may be mad that you are heading towards a better life because maybe they wanted this better life with you or perhaps you got an offer at a job that they didn't get here. So I don't feel like you're rubbing it in anyone's face. That's not you. It's just that, you know, you're committing to a happier lifestyle. And if someone hasn't evolved enough to come along or they're not in a standing position to be where you are at this time, then that's a projection onto you, right? Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is about you taking initiative towards your material financial abundance and doing what you need to do to feel back on track. Page of Cups. 
So we see the cup energy showing in. You're going to fight for what you believe in. And I feel like you're, you're staying curious, you're staying open, and there's a new passion, a new idea, a new project. This could even be, you know, a new love interest, or you're just staying true to your own heart for quite some time. I feel like we could have some artists in the house here. You may be very artistic. Some of you are painting your walls. You're getting creative with maybe do-it-yourself projects around the home. Some of you could be going through and changing out a child's room, okay? You could be, you know, cleaning up an area, going through clothing, going through toys, I also feel like you may have a studio of some sort, maybe an art studio, or you're just focusing on, you know, your happiness and, you know, being adventurous and being curious and open to life. And that's where I want you to be at. There's something you are curious about, though, that could make you money. So some of you may be thinking about this creative endeavor. If this isn't a an endeavor, this could be a new relationship that you take moving forward a new contract soul contract this could be romantic it could be a best friend but i feel like this has the potential to really be long term with this queen of pentacles if you nurture it now let's take a look at the tower why is the tower here as your values being reconstructed here destroying old structures why is the tower here yeah because you've had enough You've taken on a lot of burdens and some of those beliefs are getting intertwined because of the conditions that you've gone through. It's like, I don't even know what to believe anymore. What weighs up? What weighs down? You know, is this person honest? Are they not? Do I trust their word? Can I even trust myself? So I feel like there has been a lot of confusion here with the Ten of Wands, but this is about success lies within your own perseverance, within your own dedication here. And the message is to stay consistent with your path. And I also see here with this uh, 10 of wands, I feel like it's time to prioritize and unburden and ask for help or to let go of something that, you know, has been very burdensome or that could be part of, you know, some new values coming in where you're like, you know, that's not working for me. That's not going to work. Or this person may be pushing against what you believe and you're releasing it. You're saying that's too much of a burden. Some of you may have been carrying someone's secret. Okay, some of you may have been carrying a secret. This could be your own secret. Perhaps it was someone else's. It could be a family secret even. Someone may have said to you, hey, Sag, don't say anything, but I'm leaving. I'm, I'm moving or whatever it is. But I feel like they put you in the middle. It's almost like some of you were quite literally with the chariot, the monkey in the middle. You may have got caught up in some sort of drama and you're like, what is happening here? I was just the middleman. All right, let's look at, I want to look at the justice here. What's the justice before we wind down your reading? We see that it's at the bottom, so it's coming up and you may not see it yet, but justice is here. Why is the justice here for Sagittarius, please? Okay, two of pentacles again. Something you've been juggling up, weighing pros and cons, determining costs and value. Is it worth it? Is it worth investing money into this or money into that? Or, you know, it could be pros and cons of a relationship. Some of you may, I mean, maybe that was part of the secret. Someone was keeping a relationship hidden. Spirit, why else is the Two of Pentacles showing up twice with the justice? The devil. No wonder. Whew. Okay. I mean, this, th because it was tempting. It was tempting to keep something secretive or to keep juggling something that may not have been healthy. But I feel like by trying to maintain something that was unhealthy, you lost yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It compromised your integrity in some way, shape, or form. And you're not having it. You're not having it, Sag. You know your worth. And you know that you deserve more. Spirit, what is the final messages here for Sagittarius from your guides, angels, loved ones? We have keepers of the earth. 
You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Some of you are absolutely working with an ascended master or an ancestor that may have, you may have never met. This could be uh, someone that you've heard of, like great, great, great grandma. I feel like there is an ancestor here. Some of you may be tracing back to some sort of ancestral heritage, ancestral roots. You may be looking into your family tree. Okay, I do feel like there are, there are definitely keepers of the earth that are helping you at this time. You may even be working with an animal totem, animal spirit. Drop it below, Sagittarius. If you know that you're working with an animal, let's say recently you've crossed the path of a possum or, you know, you had a crow fly overhead or maybe you have a tattoo of, you know, a butterfly or a dragonfly, post it in the comment section below because I feel like some of you, there's messages within the animal kingdom for you. And if you drop it below... I'll, I'll uh, give you my intuitive insight. How about that? Drop your animal below and I'll give you the first, you know, energy that comes out. So we have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution. Oh, wow. Come out of the cave. Some of you, this is standing up for your beliefs, standing up for the underdog, or, you know, you could be the underdog and maybe you've been persecuted in some way, shape or form. But remember that word that kept coming up? over and over and over in your reading what was that word again i starts with an r gosh i forget what it is already but i shouldn't it kept coming up but i feel like uh, you are meant to share your voice so speak up about something and lastly we have don't dim to fit in don't dim your light how are you dimming your light in order to fit in because the world needs your voice and that's what I, I see here. You're protected. That's why you have the keepers. You are protected as you embark upon this journey. Some of you are keepers of justice. You could be in law enforcement. You could be someone who keeps the peace in some way. You could be a gateway. You could be, you know, a helper, a protector in some way. So if you are called to be on this mission, then trust it and trust that you are protected on this path. That is what I have for you, Sag. I hope that was helpful. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And thank you so much for tuning in today. Lots of love.